for two seconds um, before we dive <laughs> right in. Hi everyone, I'm Trevor. Um, yeah, I thought it would be clever to wear my green shirt, but then I realised there's a green background, so so I'm the head that's floating around on your screens there. Okay. <laughs> so um, I but anyway, we can put it. a green jersey, but you can't see it. Yeah, <laughs> it looks wrong. Uh, so yeah, so welcome everyone. Um, I'm going to share the screen in the meantime, but thank you everyone for your time. Um, and we're going to run through all of the benefits of obviously the purely greens and oh, there we go. It's really, ready to go. Oh, amazing. Uh, yeah, no, the, the product's been put together really well. It's a complete, when you get it, yeah, you know, I got uh, my bottle last week and it was just, it was really wild. Like just the whole look and feel that. The image is great. It just doesn't really, you know, do it justice when you get the actual physical product in your hand. And you open it for that first time, and the seal and the, everything. It's it just it works. It's you know, other than the benefits, just that holding it in your hand. It's like you feel like you've you've got something. You know, you've purchased something like substantial here. So it's all come together really well. So everyone that's been involved in this, putting it together marketing everyone it's just yeah fantastic so hopefully we can get through all of these you know benefits um convince everyone why you should be taking you know your purity greens if we jump straight into it we know we've known for years you know it's 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 been that thing one of those challenges you know with uh, children i've got children of my own i was a child once that i eat greens not a chance to my children if you it's very difficult, you know, um, they do and they come and they, you know, and so on. I've actually, I actually got my greens because you'll see why when I go through the, it's like the importance of this. And it's like, yeah, it's like, is that the broccoli I force myself to eat this, you know, it, it, it's actually not that bad. I was like, wow. Okay. Um, so, but mm, no, actually it's bad. It needs sauce and it needs, you know, and now I'm going to have green things stuck in my teeth, so I apologize for that, everyone. But, mm. So that, that particular broccoli is what's known as a cruciferous vegetable, and we've known for eons how important cruciferous vegetables are. You'll see as we go through the pro a presentation, so I've got broccoli coming out of my mouth here. Um, as we go through the presentation, you're going to see all of these benefits coming through, why it's so important, you know, not just from a nutritional point of view, but there's so many added benefits to these um, nutrients that um, are contained within the purely greens. So, the as I said, there all those nutrients that are in there. They they've been shown and linked to preventing a number of degenerative diseases. So we'll go when we touch on each one. You're going to see the link with those um, degenerative diseases. Yeah. So. What's happening is in life, we know balanced diet, vitally important. You have to eat your proteins, carbohydrates, fats, um, the nutrients contained in there. It's very important. The source of calories, the energy you need, catalysts, enzymes, so on that's happening in the body. Any function is just do, 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 all the time. That comes from nutrition. So if you look at what the World Health Organization say, and you need a minimum of five, five servings of fruit and vegetables per day. So what they recommend is it's around 500 grams and of that 231 grams needs to be vegetables. So I've just taken a bite of my broccoli. We were discussing it earlier and being like, hang on, you know, like I follow a pretty, you know, I think I'm healthy and so on, but I'm not living up to that. I don't know if I look at my day, am I getting my five servings in? And it's not through lack of trying. It's just, yeah, if I go through it, it's, it's, it's not that it's impossible, but it's, it's just in this modern lifestyle and our rushing and ongoing lives and so on. It's just difficult, you know, and, um, this, easier ways and so on so i thought ah oh, okay there's a way i can get ah there you go put my three grams of greens together and i'm gonna just drink it and it looks tasty 
no, 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 you know, I mean, I could do that, but that, that I need to drink, there's three grams that I've got, you know, the three grams of the powder and so on, we'll get into why three grams is important, would be the equivalent of 30 grams of maybe the broccoli, you know, maybe it's easier to do, it's really not, to so, sorry, no, 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 I just wanted to, <laughs> if I can just dive in there, I just want yeah. to do something for, for interest sake. So if for all of those who have joined us, if you can just pop in the in the chat box and let us know how many servings of fruit and veg you've actually had today. Because um, Trevor and I were, were comparing notes earlier. Like I thought I was pretty healthy. Like, like if I added up realistically after Trevor explained it to me, I probably only had three servings today. But, um, you know, we've got this this awesome thing and I can just bump it up to, you know, my full recommended daily allowance. So I see Sarah's on four. Um, some people on one, they think. Oh, really? Two, lunch and supper. So I mean, yeah, you know, this. I think what we're seeing here is we're all part of the numbers. You, you mentioned those. Well, I think you're about to mention the average. Yeah, we'll go into it more now. And I mean, this just basically, why is our diet so important? And it's purely because we get the macronutrients. So your macronutrients, your proteins, carbohydrates, fats. That's where you get calories from. That's where you get energy. Yes, protein is important for structure, muscle structure, amino acids. And then carbohydrates, primary source of energy, broken down to glucose, fuel the cells, give us energy, you know, get us going during the day. And then fats, fats play a vitally important role, yes, as a source of energy and calories, but also for insulating um, organs, very important for brain function and so on. The other thing we get from our food, micronutrients. So that's required in smaller trace amounts. And that would be your vitamins, minerals, okay? And then phytonutrients. Now that's why the phyto is so important from the fruits and vegetables. Those are these key nutrients that have other health benefits in the body. So. We're going to go through some of those. You're going to see certain phytonutrients and how they catalyze and how they function in the body. So it comes back to this nutritional gap. So ideally, we said with, with, there's more to it. Like I said, there, so you need proteins, carbohydrates, fats, micronutrients, all of those phytonutrients and that. But from a fruit and vegetable point of view, we need to take in those five servings. That's according to the World Health Organization. They reckon 75% of men and women globally don't eat that. You know, we may be on average having three servings. So you can see there, apple, carrot, pear, you know, but we need a radish and a tomato maybe or something, you know, just to round that off. So that during the day um, is what is required. So we're falling short and there's this gap that's opening up as a result because we're not fulfilling those basic needs. So most commonly deficient are fruit and vegetables. And strangely enough, also dairy falls into that, but we're focusing on the fruit and vegetables. But uh, fruit and vegetables, I spoke about it earlier, they're very important as a source of those micronutrients, but also the phytonutrients. Phytonutrients, vitally important, you're going to see those. And then a survey done in South Africa over a period of 15 years actually showed that a quarter of us, 25% said so they actually only take in two or less portions of uh, fruits and vegetables per day. And as a result, that survey that went further on, there's a number of nutrient deficiencies that are now shown to become prevalent in South Africa. One of those is vitamin A, the other is iron. As a result, you'll see the government actually implemented years ago food fortification programs. So bread, um, cereals, uh, you, uh, most of the things on the shelves you'll see are now fortified with micronutrients. Or all of these nutrients that we weren't getting in and out, you know, because we're not eating our fruits and vegetables, we need to get them in some way so they're just saying uh, fortify, fortify, fortify. And that's the reason we fought around that. So these nutritional gaps I, I, I have mentioned, life happens. I live life, you live life, we have children, it's difficult, it's difficult to fill those gaps. So you can see all the gaps that are opening up. Less time for cooking, you know, we're running around, um, time is running out. 
<laughs> I suppose I don't need to say that, that, that you know, the, the biggest curse word in South Africa at the moment, load shedding, you know, so just when you're getting ready to cook, boom, there, no power, now you can't cook anymore, you know, so time is not on our side, but also elect, the, the accessibility to electricity to cook that food is not on our time, so, which leads to less time. Um, good food, this valuable food, that the nutrient-dense food, we're noticing the cost is going up. So it's becoming very, very expensive to afford that healthy, um, you know, those fruits, those vegetables, all of those things. As a result, what do we do? We don't have time, it's expensive. So what do we do? Jump in the car, boom, quick. It's quick, convenient, takeaways, a junk food. Um, it's cheaper as well. Boom, what do we do? It's nutrient deficient. There's no nutritional value in that. So again, that gap is now widening. So instead of taking the time, preparing a decent meal to fill that gap, no, we're widening that gap even more. And then obviously the preparation of foods is causing depletion. So preservative and the way that we have to produce foods now to have shelf life so they can sit on the shelves for up to three months sometimes, but, you know, weeks and so on, it depletes those foods of the nutritional value that they have. So again, all that gap is just opening and opening and opening all the time. Okay, so those are the around the food, the thing, but added to that, there's things like stress. So stress increases. So we've spoken now about, yeah, the short supply, but now the demand in our body is increasing because of stress. So stress increases the, the need for more nutrients. Chronic prescription medication that people are on deplete the body of certain nutrients. So now there's an even more demand, you know. Smoking increases the demand for mainly phytonutrients, but other antioxidants. And then exercise, active lifestyles. You're burning more calories, increases the demand for nutrients. So not only are we not supplying enough nutrients, we're now increasing our body's demands for nutrients. So now you can see what's happening with that gap. It's getting even wider and wider and wider. So that's where purely greens. Okay, so we're trying to narrow that gap. We're trying to provide nutrient-dense um, supplementation it just narrows that gap and a, a lot more convenient. Like if I take this capsule, as you saw me trying to eat my broccoli and drink my juice, the capsule, uh, uh, and that's it. Yeah. Um, so I have to ask, where is that bowl of broccoli? Because you only showed us one piece and it was kind of hidden amongst your green shirts and green screens. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't, my even think you could, I don't even think you could chew all of that in the time that... I've had one little bite, there we go, I've had a bite, you know, so yeah, <laughs> I think it would take me longer than this presentation to, you know, unfortunately, it's it's nice, it's fresh, it's raw, it is good, but I'm not going to put everyone through that, you know, the, and definitely not going to put everyone through me drinking this. So the drinking of the four capsules there is just so much more convenient, I mean, you can see it there straight away, you know, and uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. You'll prefer it definitely, Jared. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, so why, how but, is this really good? Yeah, sorry. No, I was just going to say it makes things so much more convenient, um, which, is, which is just fantastic. Correct. So exactly how? Now we're going to just go in. So we've spoken about this nutritional gap and why it's widening and so on. How does Purely Greens narrow that? And the number one thing is it is nutrient dense. So each one of these capsules, and the dose is four of these capsules a day, is packed with vitamins, minerals, amino acids, antioxidants, enzymes, phytonutrients, everything that just promotes general health and well-being. And so there you go, your each daily dose, four capsules, and each capsule contains all of these different greens. So from wheatgrass powder, celery stem powder, spinach leaf powder, barley grass powder, 
kale leaf powder and baobab fruit powder. So a lot of those are pretty familiar to everyone. You know, you've heard about them. Some of you might have even had them. You know, if you go to the gym and you go to the juice bar and it's like a nice shot of wheatgrass, you know, or a oh, shot of barley grass. So we have them. Spinach, we know. Celery, a lot of us eat. Kale, maybe not. Baobab is quite an interesting one. You'll see where we go in, in, when we go into that, but very, very nutrient dense. Each and every one of these in combination has its own unique nutritional profile um, and benefit in the system. That's okay, amazing, Trevor. So sure. Sorry, just on that last yeah. slide, you, yeah. we just spoke about your bowl of spinach. <laughs> that only accounted for one of those six ingredients. Can you guys imagine if we had to pile up all those other ingredients into bowls and get Trevor to eat that while we were <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. That would really be punishment for everyone. So, yeah. <laughs> so if we focus then on wheatgrass. So wheatgrass contains large amounts of chlorophyll. We know chlorophyll from, I think it goes all the way back to grade five uh, biology or whatever it's called now, natural sciences. Um, you learn about photosynthesis, chlorophyll. That's where everything happens in the plant. That's what gives the plant that green color and so on. And chlorophyll is important because it is thought and research now going through this and so is showing that actually it helps to prevent a lot of these degenerative diseases, chronic diseases. So some things that come up quite a bit with regards to chlorophyll is it's really, excuse me, the broccoli is repeating, <laughs> just, and I just had a bite. <laughs> It might be my greens drink, but I think that was the broccoli. Um, <laughs> you got about so, 10 servings just in this call. I know. Tell me about it. I'm done for today. I'm like sorted. Um, and and, and, and you even practiced that when we were rehearsing earlier. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So it's, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I've passed my dosage now, and it was actually really easy. Um, so chlorophyll in our body it's, plays a big role in actually body odor, so controlling body odor, so bad breath, halitosis, it's really good for, um, but also individuals that are battling with body odor because it absorbs certain nutrients and helps with passing of toxins out the body and so on, it's really good for neutralizing a lot of bad body odors. Um, because it's chlorophyll, obviously it's harnessed all that plant energy in our bodies, that energy gets released and it helps produce energy in the body. Um, it's very good for digestive health. So it helps promote our natural bacteria in our gut. So it helps to support gut health. And then other things and so on, and you'll see there won't be any physical document or claims made on this, but a lot of cancer associations are now promoting a greens-based diet. And the reason for it is because chlorophyll and other nutrients you'll see as we go through that are contained in greens are very, very important for the supportive treatment of cancer. So that wasting the degeneration and so on. So it's not a cure for cancer. It's very important to support an individual that is going through maybe cancer treatment or the side of the negative effects, the implications and so on of cancer. So it's a supportive treatment and chlorophyll has also been shown to play a big role in that. Um, other benefits with wheatgrass, high amounts of vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, iron, calcium, magnesium, and it's a source of amino acids. So those micronutrients that we mentioned earlier that you need in your diet are contained within the wheatgrass as well. Barley grass, very closely associated to wheatgrass, um, very similar in its makeup, but also high in chlorophyll. But barley grass also contains a substantial amount of what's called beta-glucans. So beta-glucans is a soluble fiber, and research shows that beta-glucans are actually very important in blood sugar regulation and also cholesterol regulation, so in the metabolism of cholesterol. So they help with cardiovascular health, and beta-glucans also play a role in immune modulation. So they don't stimulate the immune system or suppress the immune system, they modulate the immune system, which means balances immune function. Barley grass is also very rich in what's called 
tocopherols. Now, tocopherols are vitamin E, so it's a natural source of vitamin E. And then other phytonutrients that are found in barley grass are things like hordenine. So some people might have heard of this because it's this new buzz thing, new tropics, you know, and hordenine is considered one of these new tropics. So what a new tropic is, is it stimulates brain function. So it helps with energy in the brain, concentration, focus, and so on. And then the other one is the lunacin. So you'll see on the screens there, hordenine, hordenine is your um, nootropic, but lunacin is another one of these ingredients that has benefits in the supportive treatment of individuals with cancer. Okay. Also very good for cardiovascular health, so keeping the heart healthy. Okay, spinach, spinach is the one we know, we eat, we do, you cook, it's this much and it shrinks down to that. Very important, high in chlorophyll, again, also nutrient dense because it's got vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin K, your B vitamins, magnesium, nitrates, lutein, zeaxanthin, beta carotene, folic acid, all your polyphenols and so on. Um, very, very important for general nutrition, that source of micronutrients that we keep saying, narrowing that gap. Um, and then a, an ingredient that you know no one really oh, speaks about or anything is the saponins. Now, saponins, again, are those that are like your beta-glycans, very good for cholesterol and blood sugar regulation. And again, a supportive treatment for individuals with uh, going through um, cancer treatments and supporting that process. Um, and we know spinach obviously, is a very good source of dietary fiber. So for digestive health, just helping keep, you know, digestive function in play. So I did a little thing here because we can all relate to spinach. So the question is going to come up and be like, oh, but how much is one dose equivalent to and so on. So if we picture spinach and we look at spinach as a, to get 100 grams of spinach powder, we need about 1 to 1.2 kilograms of actual spinach to dehydrate down to get to that. So you're looking at a roughly a 1 to 10 kind of ratio. So if you just take spinach and the raw spinach versus spinach powder, once it's dehydrated and concentrated actually, so yeah, it might be a 1 to 10 kind of ratio, but the nutritional value is also increased as a result of that. You can see the energy value, your carbohydrates, proteins, fats, fiber, everything just is enhanced by taking that. So to quantify uh, how much would I be getting then in every dose of purely greens, you could probably say it's a one to 10. So it's not an absolute. So please don't hold me, but it's, it's a really good estimate. It's pretty close because a lot of the extracts, the powder extracts we use there is a one to 10. So if you're wanting to know what that means, it's kind of like Oros, you know, your mixture on Oros is a one to four, I think. So one part Oros, four parts water, you know, so it's that much more concentrated. Same with the one, so it's a one part is equivalent to 10 of that. So in your dose of four capsules, you're getting about three grams of the actual blend of powder which would equate to about 30 grams of your greens or your bowl, you know, a serving of broccoli, for example, or spinach, or in this case, I made up my, you know, using three grams of greens powder. So it's, and that's what I have to drink. So um, it just to quantify it and just to put it in relation there, I just used spinach as that example so that you can get that picture of how, you know, how to translate what we're getting in the dose of purely greens versus what we would eat on a plate of food. Okay, then kale, one of the other greens contained in there, obviously a very good source of carotenoids. So things like lutein, beta carotene, your glucosinolates, a very rich source of glucosinolates and specifically ascorbogen. So some of you might have read and there's a lot of literature going around saying, oh, kale is so good and everyone's eating kale now and it's become this new thing and kale chips and kale then why? And it's actually research being conducted on the ascorbogen specifically actually shows that it inhibits that transcription enzyme that 
cancer cells use to replicate. So ascorbogen can actually inhibit that. So yeah, it's not going to treat that, but it's going to prevent cancer cells replicating. It's going to prevent the progression. It's going to prevent degeneration in the system. And then other ingredients, they obviously calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, vitamin K, vitamin C, vitamin A, iron, folate. So again, nutrient dense, you can see uh, just going on and on and on. It's the full spectrum of vitamins, minerals, everything in all of these ingredients. Celery, a rich source of calcium, magnesium, iron. It's also a powerful antioxidant and um, contains your vitamins like vitamin C, riboflavin, which is vitamin B2, vitamin B6, pantothenic acid, which would be five, then your beta carotene, manganese. So again, nutrient dense. The important thing to remember with this is celery, it's a celery stem, so it's where the nutrients come out of. Um, celery seed is a popular um, ingredient used in a lot of preparations, but specifically as a diuretic. So this celery, yes, will have diuretic properties, but not to the same extent as your celery seed. So um, just to bear that in mind, it doesn't, you know, so you're not complicated. The celery stem that we use in here is purely for all of these nutritional benefits. And we get to baobab. Now baobab, um, fruit and leaves are rich sources of not just micronutrients, but also macronutrients. So the protein content of the fruit is quite high. You know, you're looking at 170 milligrams per gram, and then in the leaves, 112 milligrams per gram. So from a fruit point of view, that's pretty high nutrient dense. It is also a very good source of essential fatty acids. So like your linoleic acid, um, your omega-6 um, essential fatty acids, which we spoke about earlier as your macronutrients. Remember your proteins, carbohydrates, and um, fats, vitally important for um, energy, source of calories in the body. Okay, so now we take all of that that we've just gone through on each and individual ingredient and combine it, boom. And so what are the benefits of your pure ingredients? So number one, we're narrowing that gap, the nutritional gap, preventing nutrient deficiencies. So anybody that is on a kilojoule controlled diet, so individuals that might be on a weight loss program, on some diet, um, or people that have been hospitalized for some reason cannot get insufficient nutri nutrition. There you go. You know, your purely greens would be the ideal thing to introduce there just to help get all of those nutrients in. Promotes healthy digestive function. We spoke about the fiber content of all of those ingredients and the other phytonutrients that help to support the natural gut flora, all those probiotics in our intestines. The nutrients in here help to keep them healthy, help them flourish. When those probiotics flourish, our first line of defense is improved digestion is improved, absorption of nutrients is improved. So everything around it just improves. Rich source of antioxidants. So we spoke about stress and the impact that has with cortisol going out. Cortisol is, produces more free radicals in the body. All of that antioxidants bind to those free radicals, neutralize them, pass them out of the system. So they cannot cause more damage. Degenerative diseases, thrive on the presence of free radicals. Antioxidants, boom, bind to that, neutralize them, so degenerative diseases cannot progress. So you stop the progression of degenerative diseases. Supports just general health. We mentioned key ingredients that help with blood sugar regulation, cholesterol regulation and management and balancing, immune function. All of those aspects come together and help with general health. They just keep you healthy, promote well-being and wellness. Improve cognitive function. So by taking it, we spray with the nootropics and the other ingredients in there, B vitamins, all of that, just fueling the brain with energy, concentration, and so on. Memory, concentration, all improved. And then it's a rich source of iron. So, but it's an, let's call it an organic source of iron. It's in a plant base. So that iron 
is in a form that the body can absorb a lot easier. A lot of iron supplements people battle with causes constipation. You don't absorb it properly because it's in a it's in a salt form that the body can't absorb. In this form, the iron that's in here is a lot more freely available for the body to absorb and doesn't cause those side effects of constipation and so on. Okay. Yeah, so there we go. You know, like I showed you, I mean, I can do it all again if everyone wants to see me eat my broccoli and drink my juice and drink a capsule. But the basis comes down to the fact that, you know, taking your purely greens capsule is making eating greens easy. I love that. <laughs> all, I just want to just touch on this little, I don't know if you can see there, there's a little scan thing here. There's always with any supplement, there's important considerations. The scan there, you scan it, it takes you directly to the package insert or the patient information leaflet. On there will be anything that anyone needs to know before using this product. So it goes for anything that anyone needs to take. Always consult your healthcare practitioner, read the package insert and so on for any kind of user information, who can, who can't use it, are there any contraindications, so on, everything is all available in the package. It's compiled according to the requirements um, by SAPRA. So everything that needs to be contained on there is in there for the individual. So um, it's called your patient information leaflet and all the information is on there. Hey, amazing, um, Trevor. I, think I am done. Um, I'm actually so, like I've got uh, flushes. I can feel this the greens coursing through my body. Yeah, it's getting into the house. Or if it's the impact of this, yeah, I'm like, oh, I don't know. I feel flushed. <laughs> well, that is amazing, Trevor. The, the, you mentioned so if we can go back to slides the whole yes. importance of the synergistic effect of all those vitamins and minerals and you know the parts and nutrients and it's just incredible and and not only are you getting all of that stuff in this product but i, I was just hoping maybe you could comment on the synergistic effect of um purely greens and if you read well you guys will read it from the picture there but powered by hero and the synergistic effect with all our other hero products um, I'm sure it must be super powerful. You've mentioned, you've mentioned all the benefits of this product alone, but coupled with, you know, the healthy hero journey and all of our incredible hero products, where does that take you? And, you know, um, if I think of filling in the gaps, nutritional gaps in my diet, I think this kind of nails it. Definitely. You spot on. Yeah. No, it will. It's the perfect not substitute but not even a filler it's it's a must you know so anybody that's on any kind of diet plan or you know healthy eating plan or anything we spoke about it earlier there's gaps you know it doesn't matter who we are it doesn't matter what we're trying to do there's gaps so yeah it will fill any of those gaps and it's it's kind of like everyone tells you oh you need to take a multi uh, multivitamin and so on so this would be it. This is kind of like your plant-based multi-nutrient. I don't want to call it a multivitamin because it's so much more than a multi-vitamin. Um, so all of those benefits. So, and just to, because you're on that hero journey, you're really health conscious. So this will just fuel that healthy lifestyle. It will ensure and promote general health and well-being. So it's probably, you know, I'd say it's right up there. It's almost like if anyone wants to start the journey, it's like, well, there you go, purely greens, you know, there's your starting point, and then everything else will work around it. It's, it's um, yeah, it's the convenience factor and then the benefits that just tie in make it such a, an awesome product. So, so, Trevor, just a question from our side. If you're new to new age and what we're all about and you're looking for your first product would you say purely greens is where you need to start i would yeah yeah i'd have to say that's that, incredible that for, me, that, for me that's my personal uh, it's yeah 
you know, I, I've always known it. I was brought up like that. Eat your greens. You know, your mom sits over you with a wooden Don't spoon. You and now you can't do that anymore. No more wooden spoons. It's just, you, you got to negotiate with the children, you know. But it's still, we know the importance of it. And eventually, you just it's like just so tiring. And it's, even for me, it's like, oh, do I have to eat my, another piece of broccoli? You know, it's like, like I'm sitting here, I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm going to do it. But, oh, you know, and... So this is just so convenient. It's um, and in the back of my mind, I know I'm getting all of that benefit. I'm getting everything I need in there in that dose. That's amazing. So, so we've had quite a few questions um, regarding children taking this product, teens and children, and um, obviously all the parents are wondering because I'm sure a lot of them are having that exact issue where. You know, trying to force your your kids to take their greens, and you know, are, are, are kids going to run to their parents and say, "Please, mommy and daddy, can I rather just take those four pills than and have the whole bowl of of spinach or broccoli?" <laughs> yeah, I would so say, it. yeah, no, definitely, it can be used. I would just recommend so children under the age of twelve, maybe just start with two capsules. Um, Children over the age of 12, you can probably go to the full dose of four capsules. Um, so just bear that in mind. The key thing with um, when it comes to greens and anything that helps promote healthy digestive function, you must remember it's like an engine that hasn't worked properly for a while. When you tune it and yeah, it doesn't run smoothly immediately. So when you take something like this, always be aware of what changes in digestive function so it's any change is a good change so it means that it's starting to work it's starting to get things so some people have complained of bloatedness um maybe even initially a little bit of constipation strangely enough but don't think oh it's anything you push through up your water intake so whenever you start taking anything with that if individuals complain with that, the bloatedness or so on, bloatedness, just reduce the dose. Instead of the four, just go down to two. Maybe take it with a meal, not on an empty stomach. That will help relieve that. But individuals that might say, oh, I'm constipated, they're not drinking enough water. Up the water intake. You know, you need at least three liters of good quality water a day. So um, that just bear that in mind, especially with children. If you start noticing, oh, they're complaining of stomach aches, and then a stomach ache is not always a bad thing. It, it's a sign that the, the bowels are functioning again, that there's contraction and so on. So it's not a bad thing. It won't last long. So it's not something that's going to be there permanently. It's just getting that function. It's stimulating the digestive tract, and it will pass. So just bear those in mind, but perfectly safe for... Um, children, you know, uh, like I say, under 12, just two capsules. Over 12 can use the, the dose of four. Um, the only people that I'd say that must just with caution would be pregnant women. So it is safe for pregnant women, but you don't know what else a pregnant woman's taking. So it's a high, a rich source of vitamin A. If that lady's maybe on another supplement, too much vitamin A is also not good. So any pregnant woman that wants to use it must speak to their um, prescribing doctor and obviously use it in combination with that. But otherwise, Amazing. anyone else, yeah. Amazing. That is, um, my mind is blown with all this um, information that you, you've just shared with us. I'm definitely <laughs> going to be looking at my diet and all the holes. Um, <laughs> I just yeah, wanted to see, <laughs> Coach Brent, what did you think of that? I mean, you, we, we obviously picked your brain about giving greens and uh, you've had some, some insight into this now. Um, are you just blown away? Oh, Jared, it, it is, uh, it's amazing. And, and as I listen to Trevor, Trevor, listening to you talk, it, it's one of those things that people know. People are not unaware that they're not getting their greens in their day-to-day uh, journey of life and and you nailed it when you said I mean we're all busy we're all go 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 means stop it 
fast food and things that we know we're not getting what we need to in our daily diets. So the talking points around Purely Greens and the convenience of it being in the capsule form um, just makes the conversation an easy conversation. You know, are you getting your greens? Most people are not. Here's your opportunity to do that. Um, and, and we've got all of these tools to go along with it that just makes it an easy uh, sell, if you will, for someone to have better health and join our team and be a part of this. So bravo to the, 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 all of you for producing this. Trevor, thank you so much for your partnership in on this. And, and Jared, I'm going to speak for everybody on the call. Like, when can we, when can we get our hands on this pure, uh, pure big girl? I love that. Like I, I, that's all I'm thinking about because I'm like, I, I, I can think of all kinds of people that want to get their hands on this. Sure. So, so if you haven't checked already, just jump on into the shop, newage.com. We are live if you haven't noticed. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, go on, check it out, let us know what you think. And um, I think just as we, we're drawing to a close, um, we've covered so much information and I think, um, you know, there's, there's no doubt as to why Trevor is Africa's first scientific advisory representative. Um, if you guys could keep up, I'm sure you've got pages and pages of notes. Um, and I just want to draw um, and highlight Trevor's accolades, um, which I maybe didn't do earlier. Um, a lot of you are probably thinking, wow, this guy really knows his stuff. So, I mean, Trevor's got a master's degree in homeopathy, um, passionate about complementary medicine um, in South Africa, um, and just an incredible human being. Trevor, your, your accolades are, are pages long. The chiropractors, homeopaths, and allied health service professional council of South Africa. Um, you know, some of the executive councils of the Health Products Association of South Africa. These are some of the boards that Trevor has sat on. And, you know, Trevor, just, um, I just want to thank you for, for spending this time with us today and, and taking our field through this incredible product. Um, and I just want to say that, you know, I'm going to be looking for many more opportunities to get you in, um, to train the field. Um, yeah, guys, you're all in the chat. Chat box. Let me know what you thought of Trevor. Wasn't he just fantastic? Um, so informative, so so educational. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm just super pumped for this product. I'm gonna go and take more now, just because I want to make sure that I'm getting those five servings. So for it's only been three. It's got dinner on the way, and that's four by my count. So I'm short of one. I'm gonna go make it nine. And you guys can hop on into the shop right now and go get your own so trevor thank you i just wanted to see if there's any other questions if you guys want to drop it in the box and um you know i just you, if you guys would like you more than welcome to open up your marks and you know thank trevor um for this incredible presentation thank you trevor thank you jim